Hi everyone, how are you doing? My name is Martin and welcome back to the new experimental version 0.37 of Stranded Deep. Very excited and the reason being is that uh, alongside that we can now fix sunburn with this, uh, that was, will be for the next episode, we'll do a second video, we can make a gyrocopter. That's really cool. This is end game material. I'm not going to talk too much, I have a lot to do, but you have to do the three main missions there and uh, for each mission you get a part of the gyrocopter as a reward so let's get right to it uh, well, i spawned the missions close to each other so that's pretty convenient i've got an absolute ton of arrows with me um i need to go up here yeah sorry about that all right let's start the mission show you my loadout for a second here so i've got these arrows but i've got another chest completely full of them as well and a whole bunch of bandages so it should be good let's see what we get first the great abaya and it will reward us one time a gyrocopter frame and of course the eel trophy let's get right to it and what i'm planning to do is i will just start the recording of the fight and uh, so i'll continue what i'm doing right now and i will then break in in the video and start recording again when the boss is almost dead and the reason being is that i have done all already all three bosses in the video and so if you want to check that it's one of my previous videos i will link a I'll put the link in the description sorry um, but let's get first to this one. It should be just light enough to start the mission. Because probably it's pretty dark on the water. Now there's um, a few other changes. One of the changes is that we can stay a little bit longer underwater. Which is pretty good. And we can uh, ascend and descend with spacebar and with crouch button. So I thought that was pretty cool as well. Good change. Um, where is the front of the ship? Is that the other side? It's really dark. Sorry, I can really see. Um, all right, it should be over here. Let's spawn him. That should do. Let's go up. I'm going to use the same place as the first video I made when the boss was released. And just stay here. Get my gun and get the fight going. Once he's almost dead, I'll continue the recording again. There he is. And we'll see how the drop works and how we get the item. Alright guys, he's almost dead. I think I just have to do a couple of more shots here. Two actually. Let's get him let him get close. There he is. Alright, spam the E. <laughs> Look, it's just if he grabbed this trophy. Brilliant. Alright, so we got the gyrocopter frame. Nice. And he despawns, unfortunately. So let's get on our raft. I will see you at the next mission objective. Alright, guys. New mission. The Megalodon. So much controversy about the Megalodon. Yes, it's way too small. And I should fix that. But that's okay it's just a placeholder and we're going to kill it so let's go down i resupplied my arrows so it should be good for that and let's do this quest mission uh, over here Now, have you guys noticed, I haven't in the first time I encountered the big Megalodon. <laughs> He's got a transmitter on his back. I don't know for sure if that's new or not. So, leave a comment, let me know. Look, there, there's the transmitter. Alright, let's get him. Um, same as before, I will just uh, start to the recording again once he's almost dead all right guys he's almost down 
We give him this one. There he goes. Try to grab what we can and we get a gyrocopter motor. Oh yeah. Alright, awesome. One more mission to go. Let's go. I will see you at the next mission objective. Alright everyone, I'm at the last mission. Looking at my watches, I had to wait for the next day. And uh, I can go over at the right top, you see the UV in the high level. And high level means that within about four hours of sun, you get sunburn. So that's a new feature. I will go over that in the uh, other episode where I discuss the other changes. But for now, let's do this final mission, which is going to be in Luska. And we will get a gyroscopter rotor. Let's get to it. Empty all my crates. Um, this is the loadout that I have right now. It's getting daylight. Um, if you do this around like 4 o'clock in the afternoon in the game, it's too dark on the water. I really can't do it. So I decided just to wait, hop to an island, get some drink. Uh, so I'm good to go. So let's do this. Let's hop on our raft. Where is it? I should be able to jump, jump on. There we go. All right, and it's at the yellow boy. This is probably the the toughest fight out there uh, because he will kick you off the raft and go pretty far. So what I will do is just park it next to it, and hopefully I can utilize a little bit the boy to stand on top of it. All right, let's see how. Oh, so much noise. I think it's still pretty dark. All right, let's give it a go. This is not going to be easy. Guys, he's almost down. There we go. Gyrocopter rotors. Got it. I am injured though. And without bandage. But <laughs> that was a tough fight. Alright. Let's see. Okay. This is bugged again where I can't use my engine. I have to fool around a little bit. Uh, there we go. Okay, let me uh, head home and let's start building. Okay, home sweet home. Let's put this thing away and let's get to the beach. There's a good open spot here. And I'm very curious. I never built this before. I don't even know if it can fly. So let's check it out. All right, story. There we go. I think we start with the frame. Right. Oh, damn. Damn, that looks good. <laughs> oh, the model is really good. And then uh, let's put the seed in. There we go. Let's put um, the motor in, of course, at the back. Excellent. One more thing to go. Oh, this is so awesome. I hope it's not disappointing. There we go. Road. Oh, of course, the cockpit. There we go. All right, let's let's get to it. Will it fly? Oh my goodness. Oh shit. Damn. Uh, space is up. <laughs> oh man. Double tap. Will it work? It does work. Oh my goodness. This is awesome. And we got a compass here, uh, which I hope it works. Yeah, it does. All right, moving more forward. Will we go faster? I do see a petrol gauge there. I'm not sure if it's going to work. I think this is the maximum speed we can do. But this, but this, this is awesome. Oh, let's go up. Oh my goodness. 
Wow! I wish you could go third person, but unfortunately that's not possible. But um, they did it! You can actually fly in Stranded Deep. That's just awesome. Let's see uh, how the landing goes. It really feels good. It really feels good. Okay, let's use the crouch button. And there we have it. Well, that is amazing. Well done, Beam Team. Holy shit. That is fantastic. I really, really, really like it. I really like it. Awesome. Let's do that one more time. It's too good. It's just too good. Wow. Sound is pretty good as well. This is a whole new ball game, man. This is totally... Oh, look at the... Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. I think that was the altimeter. <laughs> I heard something beeping. Maybe you can enhance the sound for a second there. Hang on. Alright, I hope it's not too loud for you guys. It's pretty, pretty amazing. Oh, you can see the wrecks really good now. Wow, okay, let's go up and... Uh, no, up, Martin. There was some beeping. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm still pretty much hurt. Look, I'm a boss, I can actually use that. I'm bleeding, but that's fine. Alright, this is just like Far Cry 4 with the indicator, the, the red lights beeping like crazy. Oh man, this is awesome. Wicked. Really, really nice. There we go. Oh shit. <laughs> well, that can happen. Can it, does it hurt? <laughs> can you lift it up? Oh, look at it. You can easily lift it up. Okay, guys. I hope you like this episode. Stay tuned because I will do another one for the... Um, Oh, this is a little bit finicky. There you go. For the, all the other changes, because there are some good changes as well. But um, yeah, till then. Wow. Have a great day, everyone. <laughs> See you later. Bye.